Hey there, it's Christina, president and founder of creatingdigitalassets.com. And tonight I'm doing a video inside of Kajabi because there was some questions about the double opt-in. So let's go over here to the left, uh, the menu on the left. And what you wanna do is go under marketing and let's go under forms. Now I have several of them here, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use the default opt-in form. So when we have um, people opting in on our, on our um, landing pages, our lead capture pages, there's always a form submission. And for the most part, it's always gonna be um, name and email address. So what we have to do is we have to associate a form to um, that landing page and that call to action button, okay? And these are where the forms reside. So this is the default one. And right here is what um, we call the double opt-in. And what this means is it is um, optional. So you can select it or deselect it, but I highly recommend selecting it because what it does is it, um, it sends a confirmation email to the person so that so that they can um, confirm that they want to be on your email list. So what we're really doing is we're getting clear consent two times. One time is out on the internet when when they fill out the form submit when they submit the form. It's like a form submission. They put their name and email, and we're like, okay, great. But before we actually for real put you on our list. We need you to confirm just to make sure that that was you and that's what you want. And we send them a confirmation email when this is selected. Okay. And I highly recommend it because it'll keep you compliant with some privacy laws and stuff like that. So you won't have to think about anything. And I also want to show you what we're going to be sending them because you don't have to worry about that either. Kajabi's got you taken, taken care of it. It's a system generated email and you can see what it looks like by going into settings and then going into site settings and over here on the um, far right, click into email templates. There's a list about of about 12 things. It's the one on the very bottom. It's called the double opt-in. So click that. And this is like the coded version of it. It's a mixture of text and code. Um, um, these templates are actually provided as a courtesy and um, you can edit them, but I highly recommend just leaving them as they are because the developers at Kajabi have really engineered them to be simple and readable and concise and text-based and you really don't need to add anything more to them. We want to make sure that we have deliverability. And also, whether you're technical or not, you might be messing around in here and accidentally uh, delete something. Because within these emails, these particular emails, and again, they're system generated, they just happen automated without you having to worry about them. But this is just giving you as an admin, as a system owner, visibility into what you're sending your potential uh, your leads um, okay so these double bracketed fields are actually pulling from the database so if you if you were to customize anything you would do it in here but um, let me just show you if you preview the template this is actually how it's going to be sent and you can see it how it really looks okay so it's um uh, this is just an example uh, recipient. And then it's pulling from your company, your Kajabi site. Uh, there's the subject line. And yes, subscribe me to this list. It's just a one click. It's really easy. All they have to do. And then they'll be added to your email list for sure as a subscriber. Now this, when you have that box checked for double opt-in and we send this confirmation email, understand that they have to when we're implementing it this way, they have to say yes to this right here in order to get their lead magnet. So whatever it is you're giving away free, whether it's a you know an immediate digital download of some sort, a PDF, a video, 
um, uh, whatever it is, they have to confirm this before they'll get that. As soon as they say yes to this, they will receive it in their day zero email. Um, if you've created a pipeline and you have, there's like a download link in there and that's where you'd put it. And um, you really want this, you really want them to do this step. So you don't want to deliver the lead magnet on the thank you page. You want to have them go through this, tra begin training them to receive emails from you. It's another micro commitment. There's a little bit of psychology behind it. So um, I do it this way. And I just want to show you what it looks like and what it actually is. So um, after they do this, they will be in your people tab right here and they will actually be a subscriber. So if any of this wasn't clear, uh, just um, leave me a message below this video and a comment and I will respond to you, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our Facebook group.